Hey, Sahara Galt here, and we're going to do advanced rhythm practice, spanning all of the fundamental one-beat figures, as well as their syncopated variations, and 16th, 8th, and quarter triplets. If you're unfamiliar with any of these rhythms, I've covered them all in my previous rhythm videos, so check those out. We're also going to introduce one new figure, the quintuplet, which is dividing the quarter note up into five pieces. You might find this a little daunting at first, but it's worth realizing that if you're already adept at dividing the beat into twos, threes, fours, and sixes, you just need to learn and get comfortable with the feeling of five. So it goes like this. Right? You try it. And hear it one more time to check. While quintuplets might be less common to come by, they can begin to feel as comfortable to perform as any of the other subdivisions of the beat you're familiar with. And once you have them under your belt, it's interesting to see how they bring this perspective warping effect to rhythms based on other subdivisions of the beat around them. Let's hear quintuplets next to eighth notes. Notice how it makes the eighth notes sound like they have a lilt, and against triplets. Ah, and by now, I bet the quintuplet is already starting to sound natural to you, and we're going to continue to work it in the upcoming exercises to totally secure it into your rhythmic vocabulary. Let's generate a couple bars of rhythm that'll include a quintuplet. Okay, ready, go. Let's check it. Here's what you ought to have done. And since these are more challenging rhythms, I'm going to give you a second attempt at them. Here we go. And last check. Nice. Let's do another. Generating. Ready. Go. Give it a check. One more attempt. Last check. Now, I want you to connect with something important. Quintuplets are evenly spaced through the beat. By contrast, this rhythm contained a triplet sixteenth, straight sixteenth figure, which also divides up the beat into five pieces. But it does this unevenly, the triplets taking half the beat the straight sixteenths, the other, kind of feeling like it decelerates towards the end. Da, 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 da. It's obviously crucial to mastering quintuplets to be able to differentiate them from similar rhythms. So let's compare the two figures back to back. You try. And one more check. Okay, next rhythm's gonna contain both of those. Ready, go. Give it a check. Go, victory lap or 
chance for redemption, depending how your first round went. Last check. Great. Let's get a little bit more practice in. Here we go. Check. Hit it one more time on your own. Last check. Okay, last one. Here we go. And check it. One more go on your own. Last check. Okay, great work. That was serious rhythm training. Come back often to continue refining your rhythm skills and master those quintuplets. Special thanks to my patrons and direct owners. It's your support that allows me to make time in my schedule to create these videos. And if you enjoyed this, please consider donating via the links in the description. All right, that's all for now. I'm Sahir Galt. I'll see you next time.